Now think back to how we started the show. Pressure is due to the motion of air molecules. The force that crushed this drum was provided by the collisions of tiny molecules moving at high speeds with the sides of the drum. More molecules hit the outside than the inside, with dramatic results. And the process is continuing, as we will, after we take a break, come back and do one last experiment. How do you measure the pressure of the atmosphere? In the 1600s, the Italian scientist Evangelista Torricelli took a glass tube, closed at one end, and filled it with mercury. The other end was open to the air. The pressure of the air on the open end pushed the column of mercury up the tube. The higher the pressure, the higher the column of mercury. Torricelli's instrument, now called a barometer, measured the pressure of the surrounding air. Torricelli quickly noticed that this pressure varied from day to day. The height of the column of mercury rose and fell with the weather. At the weather station on Colorado State University campus, as at thousands of sites around the world, more modern instruments collect data on atmospheric pressure. The tools used may be different, but as Torricelli first observed, a change in the pressure still means a change in the weather.